Hi viewers and students. We have discussed so many concepts in the chapter shares. As the part of that, today let us discuss the new concept in the chapter set that is basic operations on sets. Already we know four fundamental operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These are the four fundamental operations we know and we did these operations on numbers. We added, subtracted, multiplied and divided the numbers. Here, what are the operations? What are the basic operations on sets? Whether we add, subtract, multiply or divide the sets? No. Here are some particular operations can be done on sets. They are union of sets. Number one, union of sets and the number two intersection of sets and the number three is difference of sets you can see those three operations on the screen today let us discuss the first operation on sets that is union of sets let us take heading union of sets see children what is the union of sets it is not like addition not like subtraction it is a particular operation can be done on sets. See children, A and B are two sets. Union of A and B is also a set which consists of all the elements of A and B. This is the union of sets. Once again see children, A and B are two sets. Union of A and B is also a set which consists of all the elements of A and B. So, elements in union of A and B sets are the elements from A and the elements from B can be taken here. We can understand perfectly with an example. Before going to example, let us see the symbol of union. The symbol used for the operation union is U. We can see the symbol of union on the screen. When the union of A and B is calculated, union of A and B sets is denoted by A union B as shown on the screen. Here A union B is also a set. What are the elements of A union B? children elements of a union b are all the elements of a and all the elements of b a union b means it is the set consists of all the elements of set a and set b okay let us take an example to find the union of sets a is the set consists of the elements A, B, C, D, E, F. These are the elements in set A and set B consists of the elements B, C, G, H, I. These are the elements of set B. Find the union of A and B. This is the question. You can see the question on the screen. What are the sets given here children? Okay, A and B. What we have to find here? Union of sets A and B. Okay, now see union of sets A and B is denoted by A union B. We write A union B. This is the union of two sets A and B. You can see on the screen A union B is the union of two sets A and B. Here the union operation is taken in between set A and set B. As we know addition of two numbers 2 and 3 we write 2 plus 3. Same like that union of sets A and B can be shown as A union B. See children. Already as we know union of sets consists all the elements of A and B. 
let us write a union b is equal to the elements of this set are all the elements of a can be taken here all the elements of set b are taken here say children what are the elements of set a a b c d e f so we write all these elements in the set newly formed a union b okay a union b is equal curly bracket a b c d e f all the elements of set a are written here now what we write all the elements of set b also can be written in a union b set so what are the elements of uh, b children b c g h i okay let us try to write but already here b and c elements are taken from set a so we need not write b and c so we write g h i elements in the set a union b so this is the a union b set a union b is equal a b c d e f g h i these are the elements of a union b sets when a and b are two sets a newly formed set a union b is also a set which consists uh, the elements as shown on the screen this is the union of sets the same question is asked to solve a union b by venn diagram see children let us try to solve the same question by using venn diagram okay the set a is equal a b c d e f these are the elements of set a b is equal set b is equal b c g h i these are the elements of set b the question is find a union b by using venn diagram when the question is asked as using venn diagram just b solve it by using only venn diagram okay see now let us try to solve this by using venn diagram whatever the venn diagram we draw first we draw rectangle which shows the universal sets and the right top corner of the rectangle we write the symbol of the universal set mu now here there are two sets a and b set a is denoted by a circle and the name of the circle is a we write capital a on the top of the circle a and set b is also a den also denoted by circle and name of the set b is written on the top of another circle here we have to observe one thing here are the common elements in both the sets so we overlap the two circles as there are common place there are common elements we overlap these two circles which are represented by set a and set b okay you see the same thing on the screen this is the venn diagram for this set now let us try to post the elements in this venn diagram see children first we write the common elements in the common place highlighted on the screen here the highlighted screen is the hot in set a and set b in this highlighted place in this common place we write the common elements we write b c in the common area because all the elements shown in this common area are in set a and set b b comma c elements are in set a 
and also in set B. So we write like that. And the elements of set A are A, B, C, D, E, F. Already as shown on the screen, B, C elements are noted in set A. So what are the remaining elements we have to write in set A? Okay, good. A, D, E, F. Where we write these elements? These elements are not common to set A and set B. These are the elements belongs to only set A. So we write the excluding part of common parts to the two sets. We write the elements A, D, E, F as shown on the screen. And next, the set B consists of the element B, C, G, H, I. Already B and C elements of set B are shown in the screen. You see the common place is the place for set A and set B. Already B, C elements can be shown in the set B. We have to write three more elements G, H, I. Where we write excluding part of B. That is by excluding the common part uh, the part belongs to only set B. We write the element G, H, I in this excluding part as shown on the screen. This is the representation but so far we didn't find the union of sets. Union of set means all the elements of set A and set B is the union of A and B. All the elements of A and B means all the elements that we see in the two circles. See children, all the elements in those two circles, that means all the area as shown on the screen, we take all these elements to represent the union of sets A and B. We shared the total circle area. That means all the elements of A and B. The elements which are underlined in the shaded area are the elements of a union B. Now we will write the answer below the Venn diagram. A union B is equal B. Write a shaded part in the square box and is equal. We write the elements which are in the shaded part. What are the elements in the shaded part, children? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. These are the elements in the shaded parts. These are the elements of A union B. So once again see A union B is equal shaded part is equal A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. This is the union of two sets. Now, let us try to write the set builder form of uh, two sets A and B, that is A union B. A and B are two sets, then the union of sets A and B is uh, denoted by A union B. Now, we write the set builder form A union B is equal, A union B is also a set. So, A union B is equal, we write curly bracket, whatever the set builder form, we denote the all the elements of uh, the set by x. x means here all the elements of A union B. So here x represent all the elements of A union B. You can observe the above example all the elements of A union B are denoted by x here. x means all the elements of A union B. x such that. You write such that symbol when we write the set builder form x such that what such that means children such that means how x is and what x is 
what x will run x is the element of a union b means the element of a union b is from set a or set b whatever the element in a union b that element may be belongs to set a or may be belongs to set b here x is the element of a union b means the element may be belongs to set a or the element may be belongs to set b so x such that x is the element of a union b how x is the element x which is in a union b is the element may be taken from set or may be belongs to set b so we write x such that x belongs to a or x belongs to b this is the set builder form let's see a union b is equal to x such that x belongs to a or x belongs to b this is the set builder form this means the element of a union b is the element from set a or set b 